At the time of Musa alayhi salatu was salam, he once asked Allah azza wa jal, he said, Oh Allah, tell me, who will be my companion in Jannah? He asked, and Allah said, a butcher. And he was shocked. He was a butcher. Why will a butcher be my companion in Jannah? So he asked, oh Allah, tell me, where can I find this man? So then he's instructed that this man is in such and such place. And he goes. Remember, this is the Nabi of Allah. He goes and he sees this man in his butchers and he's cutting meat. And Musa alayhi salatu salam just looks at him and thinks, okay, what's so special about this man? And at the close of day, this man, he picks some meat up and he takes it with him and he begins to walk home. And Musa alayhi salatu salam begins to follow this man until he reaches the home of this man. And he says to this man, will you not take a, a travel as a guest? And the man says, oh, why not come in? So he takes Musa alayhi salatu salam into his home. And Musa alayhi salam starts to observe this man. And he sees that this man takes that meat that he has bought from the butchers. And he become, begins to wash it and cut it. And after cutting it, he cooks it. And after cooking it, he places it on the plate. And from a high shelf in that room, he takes a basket. And he brings the basket down. He takes a damp cloth. And from within the basket, he takes out an old, frail lady. And he puts her in his arms as a baby would put her. As a man or a woman would put a baby in their hands and their arms. And he begins to wipe this old frail lady. And then he takes out the meat that he has cooked, puts it in his mouth in one narration. He chews it and then puts that into the mouth of this old lady. And every time she finishes, he takes a damp cloth and he wipes and cleans her. And he, Musa Islam watches this, continuously watches this. And then when he finishes, he cleans her, puts her back in the basket and puts the basket back up on the high shelf or place that it was originally. And then Musa والسلام, he saw two things. He saw that this man was attentive to her. And the fact that every time he would put a morsel in her mouth, she would whisper something. So he asked, he said, what is this woman to you? What relation do you have to this woman? And he says, she's my mother. He says, I am so poor that I am unable to buy food and, and other items and bring them home and cook them. So I take whatever meat is left over in my butchers, I bring it home, I cook it. And because she's so old and frail, that I don't have enough money to have a slave or you know, a khadim or a person that can help me. So I do everything myself. And he says, the Musa asks, okay, so what is it that she mumbles every time you put that morsel in her mouth? He says, she prays for me, that oh Allah, make my son the companion of Musa in Jannah. Subhanallah. And because of the dua of his mother, Allah had accepted it. Musa والسلام, shows the power of that, of the dua of the mother.